All right, so why don't you start by naming the police department and stating your name and then tell me what happened. I'll have questions and I'll, uh, we'll just get started now. Well, this involves multiple law enforcement agencies. It started in California in the Nevada County Sheriff's Department. I had a, a neighbor who was in my area who had been using illegal electronics to burglarize my home. Um, he's done acts of domestic terrorism, um, dead animal shot down to my doorstep. He's dropping devices that I tried to report and they tried to uh, accuse me of uh, being a dropper. When I tried to report it, they, they said they were going to arrest me. <laughs> and, um, in this multitude of law enforcement agents, they lied to me about trap and trace that I had put on my phone by the statement the officer said, and they that the Stallman in the Nevada County Sheriff's Department, and that's in uh, Nevada City, California. And then I've got multiple, multiple reports in Reno, Nevada of um, forgery. Um, I had a restraining order issued in California for three years. You had a restraining order against you or, or one that you imposed on someone else? I imposed on this person that's been, that's, um, been influenced law enforcement to cover for him, even look for him. Even now they're, they're, they're framing me for citations. Um, <clears throat> it progressed to where uh, when I was moving to Utah, uh, I had another restraining order against this individual. I have a temporary address for we're in Tech Killer, Texas, and the law enforcement in Midvale Police Department there, they weren't enforcing restraining order. Um, he violated the first one twice when I was going across the bay and I, I reported this in Elko Sheriff's Department and also in Reno Police Department. And he never was arrested. And uh, now here moving to Arkansas, I've got multiple reports here at Darwin County Sheriff's Department. Hot Springs, I've got multiple in Hot Springs, or uh, Malvern, Sheriff's um, Department, and now I want to retrieve um, uh, police reports in Malvern Police Department. I have close to a dozen reports, and I went in to retrieve them. They only, the officer came out, took the report, but they never, they never filed it. Okay, so you, you have filed multiple reports in these various jurisdictions claiming exactly what? That you're being electronically harassed by this other party? Yeah, well, I've, I've gone through quite a lot of things that can be done through electronics. I've had identity theft, bank fraud, credit card fraud, accounts open in my name, domestic terrorism, death threats. Okay, so let me just back up. Over. Hold, hold on, hold on. And in order for this to be properly investigated and for someone to be found guilty, we're going to need more specifics. So, look, for example, um, when you say that these things have taken place, tell me what the evidence is in terms of, the, you, what, what do you have? Well, I have the police report. Um, when I was going across the state and I've been moving from California to Utah, um, where this individual was following me on the freeway, uh, this was after he poked, poked a hole in my radiator. This was this restraining order was already issued. It was still in force. I reported to my attorney. I had retained at the time. I reported to the Nevada County Sheriff's Office. He had violated the order, and he never was arrested for it. But he was served another protective order in Utah. Mm -hmm. He was served in Texas, actually. So Let me ask you. Let me ask you about the person who is the source of all these problems. How and why is he coming at you like this? What what happened between the two of you? Well, you know, I never met the person, but it all started with he didn't seem to like the noise I was making when I was putting an engine in my truck for my business I had out there. I used some air tools. Mm -hmm. Did on a piece of tin over there with a the hammer. You tell he was irritated with the noise, and that's all. That's how it all started. Then I found. My home was being burglarized, my property being stolen. Uh, okay, do you have, hold on, do you have proof that he did it? I'll have witnesses. Okay, what, if I were to interview your witnesses, what would they tell me? They would tell you that um, they witnessed a person on property.
cooperated and witnessed him transmitting what went on in my house from his residence. He put on a loudspeaker one time when me and, uh, Kurt and Connie Callum went outside to play with the dog. He had transmitted what was going on in my house on a loudspeaker from his house. So he was transmitting activities occurring at your home over the loudspeaker at his home? Yeah. Okay. Now, is this person some sort of electronic expert, or is he just a novice, or just some guy who's got an attitude who, who's found some devices that he can use? I think he's kind of self-educated on electronics. I don't believe. I don't know how, you know, like I said, I never met the man. But he seems to have uh, recruited a lot of people to help him. Okay, what is what is his name? Adam Adam Vernon Wright. Adam Vernon Wright. Okay. Do you have any contact information for him? So if you want to call him and ask him questions. Well, he, he's he's avoiding being in uh, any kind of contact after I witnessed him following me across the state of Nevada. Okay, and you and let me just make sure I understand your complaint with the police. Your complaint with the police is that they're failing to investigate these acts against you, or that they're that they've done something overt. No, they're not willing to take reports of acts of domestic terrorism, death threats, these kind of natures of serious. I've even I've even had pipe bombs put in my garage. Okay. All right. Well, let me let me let me stop you there and tell you my rough assessment. You're going to have a difficult time getting an officer found guilty based on what you've told me so far. That doesn't mean you don't have a case. It just means you need more evidence than you're giving me in this meeting. Now, if you can give me dates, times, records, and other things, or if we can collect evidence for you, there's a possibility that we could find someone guilty. However, it seems the more likely and culpable person would be the, the party you're accusing. Um, what's his name again? Robert Smith? Oh, Adam, Adam Wright. I'm sorry, Adam Wright. Adam Wright. This, this is just beginning. This goes back 10 years. Okay, well, let me just let me also say this to you. The the length of time and the number of times that you reported it are not going to be relevant to an investigator. What they're going to want are, are facts that prove the point you're making. And there may be facts out there that we can discover that would help you. Let me just stop the recording because I have enough information to give you more information.